that was Owen Evans, the BBC weatherman, drumming up a storm. What a fantastic intro to tonight's show. My name's Paul Martin, and welcome to the Drumathon 2020 charity auction. We are broadcasting live to the nation from Hall Music Studios in the heart of Hampshire, the same studios that some of the world's top drummers during the lockdown period laid down the groove from this very room, drumming for hours on end. And together, drummers across the nation in different recording studios and rehearsal rooms have managed to raise a staggering £30,000, all for the National Health Service. Now, I think that is something to shout about. It really is. The National Health Service, they are saving lives, they are working tirelessly, and they're making our lives a lot safer. And for me, the National Health Service have put the great back in Great Britain. But all of this event wouldn't be possible without the volunteers that have worked hard behind the scenes, the engineers here in the recording studios, the artists who've laid down their time, They've donated gifts for this auction. We've got sticks, we've got cymbals, we've got drum kits, we've got rock and roll memorabilia. A big thank you to Dawson's Auction Rooms and thesailroom.com. But a massive thank you to my two very important guests. They're with me on the sofa in the sound room right now. And without these two guys, this whole event wouldn't have happened. It's Bev and Errol Kennedy. Welcome to the show. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this was your idea. Yeah. It, was. it was. I mean, down to the legendary Errol, really. Well, actually, it was you starting the whole thing by <laughs> saying, come out and uh, let's um, honour the NHS and go Yeah, and Errol was actually up a ladder painting the ceiling because we'd had a fire at Christmas. I had two bins and a couple of drumsticks and we went out and madly drummed. But it actually, like everyone, it moved us so much that first time yeah. that we just, you know, from then on, he said, what can I do? 24 hours of drumming, 7th of April. Yeah. And then together we thought we've got to do more because yeah. Tom was walking around that garden raising a lot of money. <laughs> and you're so connected. You've been in the industry for years and yeah. um, you know so many people. And, and, and literally it was your name. Everybody jumped on board and said, yeah, let's help Errol out. Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, uh, it, for, for doing 24 hours and then we just said, so what else can we do? And then we just got on the phone and started to get loads of people on board. Great. We only started with five, but um, within a week, we st it was 20 drummers. Yeah, it was great. It, it was, was tell, unbelievable. Actually, toured with me back in the day. Yeah, really? We did a tour yeah. in Sweden because I was on the road. So gradually we got more. Well, we started with five, didn't yeah. we? And then, and because Errol had drummed for 24 hours, it wasn't so difficult to ask because we could say, hey, it's only 12 hours, you know. Yeah. And it's probably twice their age, actually. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so how are your hands? How are your hands now? Yeah, I mean, my hands are just coming back from the 24 and the yeah. 12. Honestly, for the last couple of hours, I was on painkiller going, really? I've got to get to the finish so I could pass the baton on. And I was crawling on the floor writing all the social media notes. <laughs> and I was feeding, I mean, trying to massage his legs when he had cramps. You know, oh, no. Not keeping him, to be seen. Keeping yeah. him hydrated as well. <laughs> Come on, you can do more, you can do more. Absolutely. 24 hours, yeah. that's one long shift on a drum kit. It was amazing. It was. And at 22 hours, Errol said to me, have I got another 24 to go? Yeah. I'm it was just going. like, he was just going like a... But How many sticks did you break? I mean, in actual fact, because it was a practice kit, yeah. none. He just oh, broke great. his hand. You know, <laughs> I just broke my hand instead, because you're playing, it's like playing on rocks, Paul. I mean, you know, you're a drummer, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what it's like when you're playing on plastic. It's yeah. like, forget it. Yeah, you know, there's no what, response. There's no response. But what was really good is that after doing the 24 hour, calling on, calling on a few friends and, and you know, and getting that contribution started to get the, the whole picture of who was going to come on board. Yeah. Spoke with all media to get the whole thing together. Because you've got to remember, it's lockdown. We've, we haven't got all our kit, have yeah, we? No, so no. that was part of the whole thing. And that was what part of the difficulty was in how people in lockdown in our own could home could actually make it work. And the hardest thing were these little cameras, weren't they? Yeah, the cam we had GoPros. GoPros or no, it was something else that some link with the camera yeah. that they sold out because yeah. everybody was doing Pilates from home, this yeah. from home. Everybody yeah. was, <laughs> you name it, anybody that was creative yeah. Yeah. was out yeah. there doing yeah. it. Yeah. Well, we I've, missed you know, a lot of drummers, so we were Errol was driving yeah. around, weren't yeah. you? Yeah, and then Just we had to, things off. Yeah, and then we had two studio. We have obviously all media. All media is here. Where yeah, we which is great. The guys here are brilliant. And then we had Mel and David. Uh, Mel, Melis, and also Maddis, and they had a studio in Dartford. In so it was a, and in they were brilliant oh, too. So yeah. between them, one was uh, this was the daytime, and the nighttime because of course we drum. Well, they drum for twenty, well twenty four seven for 
250 hours. hours. Solid. Yeah. Yeah. Solid. Nine o'clock in the morning. So that was my challenge, getting everybody well with David too, to get everybody nine o'clock in yeah. straight. Tech. There wasn't a beat missed yeah, for yeah. 252 hours. That's incredible, isn't it? Not incredible. And it was all recorded. So if you're a young drummer and you want to watch these guys play, you know, some of the world's top musicians, it's a great way of focusing in on technique. Exactly. It really is. Absolutely. You can see all Absolutely. this on YouTube. And, and, and honestly, Paul, for the first time, to be able to watch um, a drummer perform, and it is a performance, yeah. for 12 hours, um, and they're playing to songs, but you see how they orchestrate yeah. and how they sit on the groove yeah. and how they're like belly dancers. We've seen yeah. really. Yeah. And it's great you know. because, like you say, the drums are normally in the shallows. Yeah. And for the first time, you're close up watching them yeah. and enjoying them, you know? And it's only there that you can realise that the drumming is so musical. It's not yeah. just the foundation. It's not holding the groove together, but yeah. it's musical. Yeah. And That's some of the most great. successful drummers in the world can hold a groove down, but make those fills so musical yeah. and embrace everything. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Well, look, I wish you both luck, you know. <laughs> £30,000 so far, a little bit more than £30,000. Yeah. It's a staggering amount. As soon as I say the National Health Service, in my, I get a frog in my throat, you know, it's, <laughs> because they have done such an amazing job. Amazing. And we need, we need to build on that right now. You and I, we need to build on yeah. that. I'm here on my rostrum, look, which is an old premier drum kit. I've got my gavel. I'm going to be knocking out the lots. In fact, <laughs> I'm going to be flogging the lots, OK? All the proceeds are going to the National Health Service. So please just remember that. Bear that in mind. And some of these items that have been gifted by some of the world's most famous drummers are items that you can't buy in the shop. So every penny will count. These guys will vouch for that, won't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. And, 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 you know, some amazing uh, offers and amazing gifts from, from celebrity drummers. You know, um, you've got two amazing snare, which was made by... Uh, Meg Leomont, who was... She's incredible. She's An artist friend incredible. of yours, yeah. And yeah. She, she's on the drum marathon. And I, I, I've got to tell you this, right? We've got two girl drummers in the marathon. Great. And when we approached them, you know, uh, to say, to ask them to join the marathon, and uh, we said, well, you've got to do 12 hours, right? Um, and my approach was like, but look, girls, you can split it. You can do 60, 60. I went, no. We're, we're only going to be in if we can do the 12 hours. Yes! Yeah. That's my Girls girl. rock! Yeah, there you go! Really great! <laughs> really great! Yeah. Really and I, I just thought that was amazing. But then, um, you know, the idea came about the celebrity drum and uh, Meg just... Um, she yeah. just stood up on that one, wasn't she? It was you that triggered that. Yeah. yeah. Because you'd had a, an experience Celebrity with a very up. famous drummer that we won't mention. <laughs> yeah. And you said he sticks and he went for 15 quid and he was in the room. <laughs> yeah, we and need more lots. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. What are we going to do? We've got all these drummers with sticks. And they oh, go for 15 yeah, quid. Yeah, we need we'll more of a variation. Yeah. So at that Broad point, appeal. we rethought yeah. it, yeah. talked to Meg, and she said, I've got this idea. And it's the most beautiful drum she's created. Right. And right. now we've got sticks from Larry Mullen. Look, we've got everything. Everything. We've got and we've got 40 wow. odd lots. It's there's something for everybody here. It's there affordable. Is. There's some high end stuff, but it's going to be so collectible. You know, these are sort of well, wonderful icons, you know, and you can't put a price on them, owned by some of the most famous drummers in the world. So, um, we're going to find out what they're worth in just a moment. It's my turn now to actually get on the rostrum, which is here, and flog them. And I have to say, a big thank you for asking me to do this. It's a real oh, honor, weird. you know. I love my auctioneering and I love my drumming, so thank you. Well, we're going to start off with lot number one, and you know what that is, don't you? Oh, my goodness. Errol Kennedy's waistcoat, and it's a sparkly red one. Well, in fact, it says, it says in the catalogue, pink. There's shades of rose, madder and pink. Absolutely. <laughs> OK, OK, so, look, you're a slim guy. I, I reckon you're about a 42 chest, yeah? yeah. So it's still spot on, spot on. Well, you're fit. he's a fit guy, isn't he? He's a fit guy. He's Hasn't changed. Fit. So no. this was worn on top of the pops for no. years. I mean, this, this, the last place where I wore this, uh, I, um, I did a, a really amazing uh, festival in Camarcchio in Italy. Yeah. And then I actually played a London gig as well. Yeah. And then after that, that was it. But okay. it's done the whole tour. It's done the world. Yeah. It's done the world. With yeah. imagination. It's done the world. We, yeah. Absolutely. Are you still talking to Lee Johns? Are you getting on oh, with Lee Johns? Well, uh, yeah, we have a conversation. Yeah. But what's interesting, we've got a signed, uh, and this, believe me, it could be the only autograph ever that we are ever sharing. To sharing together. You've got you've got Bev, you've got um Mel Gennett from Simple Minds, yeah, and big you've Mel. got Lee John and you've got yeah. myself. And, and we were that... all on tour back in eighty one. We did yeah. a tour together back in eighty one. It was Imagination's first ever world tour really. Is that and how you two met? That's how we, we met in New York actually. Then we lost touch for thirty four years. Yes. Wow. 
and then found each other again. It's been... Well, that deserves a drum roll. I got a gavel in my hand. Yay! Yay! Right, lot number one. The pressure is on because the man yeah. is right here in the room. So we're going to start this off and there's an auction guideline of around two to four hundred pounds. So we're starting off with a bid straight in now of two hundred pounds. Do I see two hundred anyway? Yes. Online now two, two hundred, two forty, two eighty, three hundred. Yes, it's coming in fast now. Look, we'll get there. Whoa. Three, three twenty, oh, three four. 360. Internet is now with me at £380. Any further advances on? £380. It's going once. It's going twice. £380. We got 400 straight in. 400 a tap on the window. We're now asking 420. Further advances on 400. We have a bid of £400. £400 and I'm selling. It's going once. It's going twice. Sold. Yay! Well done. Thank That's you. lot number one. Okay, lot number two. <laughs> Lars Colbert, the drummer in Ride. Ride are such a fantastic oh. band. I mean, they got a big cult following. What is this next lot worth? Okay, it's some anti-vibration drumsticks. These have been customised. They've been pimped up. You needed these during your session. I certainly did. <laughs> uh, it would have really helped my hand from swelling up like... <laughs> like nobody's business, honestly. Okay, so what are these worth? We've got a guide price of 20 to 40 pounds. I'm going to start the bidding off now at 20, straight in at 20. We've got 20, 40, 40, 40 pounds now. We need a little bit more, 60. I've got a bit of 60, 80 pounds. That's fantastic, 80 pounds. I've got a bit of 80. Wow. Any further advances on 80? I'm looking. Yes, fantastic. Thank you. Every penny is going towards the National Health Service. So come on, please, please push those buttons and dig deep. Ride are a fantastic band. You won't be able to get this kit in the shops. We've got a current bid now of £120. What do you think, Errol? 120. That's only good. Wow, We're looking for 130. Amazing. Any further advances on 120 pounds? Yes, 130, 140, 140 pounds. Come on, push those <laughs> buttons. One more bid, please. 150. <laughs> We're looking for 150. It's with you now. 140. Yes, 150 pounds. That's more like it. 150 pounds. It's going once. It's going twice. Oh, yes. thank you so much. 160. 160. There's a delayed reaction. This is live, but I'm looking online now on this laptop. On my floor, Tom. We're looking at 170. Do I see 170 anywhere? I've got a current bid of 160 pounds. Wow. 160 pounds. And I'm selling once. It's going twice. Sold. Thank you. 160 pounds. That's Lot nice. number three, very wow. much like this. This is a Navita Zildjian, but we have a dark crash symbol made by Exodus. It's a class make. It's a world-class symbol, okay? Together with some Vic Firth mallets and some multi-rods. If you don't know what they are, they're those little rods held together and they create a really nice little samba yeah. sound, don't they? Yeah. You can play really quietly with multi-rods. Anyway, what's this lot worth? Three to four hundred pounds, okay? It's a 17-inch dark crash symbol. So who's going to start the bidding off? Lot number three. Here we go. We're straight in. Currently, the bid is at 260 pounds. I'm looking for 280. Any further advances on 260 pounds? Come on, come on, one more bid. I can sell it. One more, please. Come on. We've got a firm reserve of this, and I'm looking. I have a bid of 260. We're just shy of the reserve, but you know what? I'm going to use auctioneer's discretion. <laughs> if we don't get another bid, it is yours at 260 pounds. It is going once, twice. Let's have a hi hat choke. <laughs> Sold. Fantastic. <laughs> Lot number four, The Feeling. Who loves The Feeling? Oh, what a band. Oh, and what a drummer, Paul Stewart. Yeah, Paul yes. He's an amazing Lovely guy. guy. He's Lovely guy. guy. Lovely guy. Absolutely really articulate, brilliant. but yeah. what a nice oh, player. Yeah. He's, oh, he's got a really nice groove. He's okay, stunning. he's offering a tuition lesson, okay, with this wonderful drum tuning key, which you designed. Yes. Yeah, wow. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. Awesome. The quantum tuner. Oh, this will change all drummers' lives. Of course it will. Yeah, it will um, take out the pains out of tuning and it will allow the drummer to be creative. Yeah. That means you can actually find your sweet spot in the sound sure. uh, and then you can actually dial back that sound again. Meaning and replicate it. Replicate it again. Not under pressure. Not under without pressure. hitting the drums, without picking a stick yeah. up, yeah. you can get that exactly like a guitarist does. Yes. 
with the little dials. Absolutely. Yes. Ten years in the making. Wow. It's going to put drum machines out of action. It's the drum machines that are going to start... Wow. Playing. OK, drum well, look, you've, you've heard it here first, OK? <laughs> this is your invention. Good luck with it. But also, whoever gets this lot, I'm sure when you talk to Paul and you get some instruction on it, you know, pick his brains about drumming because he's a lovely lad. And, um, you know, when you're a young drummer, it's really important to know what to focus on and how to maximise your practice session. So get in touch with this guy, you know, and um, he'll help you out. Simple as that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's amazing. Right. Who's going to start me off with a bid of fifty pounds? We're looking at fifty pounds. Come on, surely fifty straight in. I've got a bid of forty-five. Forty-five pounds is with me online. Do I see fifty pounds anywhere? We are looking at fifty pounds. The current bid is forty-five. One more. One more, and I will sell it. Not only that, you get to you get to hang out, man, with the guys. You know, you get yeah. to talk Easy drums. <laughs> with an Come on, one tuna. more bid. One more bid. Yeah. Will I get that? I've got £45. Pounds. Can I sell at £45? There's a reserve of 50 I'm using my discretion yeah, here. Discretion. All the proceeds towards the National Health Service, so come on, dig deep, please. That's what this evening is all about. I'm going to sell this at £45. Pounds. It's going once. It's going twice. <laughs> Sold. Yay! Well done. They're lucky for that. That's right. Great. OK, lot number five at Lockdown Studios 2. Drummers, some of the world-class drummers played in this studio, didn't they? Yes, they did. They did. Where is it? Um, studio two is in Grace. It's in Grace. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. East yeah. London. Right. So studio two, you've got to make your way to London, but you can use the studio, and that's a really good deal because for the day it's normally around five hundred pounds. We're looking, we're looking for bids around two to three hundred pounds. Okay. So who's going to start me off? We've got a bid of two hundred and twenty pounds straight in online. Two hundred and twenty pounds. We're looking for two forty now. Come on, it's just shy of the reserve. Two hundred and forty. We're looking for. I could sell it at two forty. Two twenty. We've got to ask some questions and make some phone calls. Two hundred and twenty pounds is with me right now. Come on, drummers, <laughs> dig deep. Anyone in London? Oh, this is a fantastic question. studio. Actually, it is superb. Such an amazing studio, state of art, and you go in there, and honestly, the drum booth is absolutely incredible. You heard it from the man. Brilliant. I've played there. I mean, I, I, I was playing there this week when I played on the Jive Talking for the Bee Gees, Woo! and it is absolutely incredible. It is absolutely. brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely great. We'll be getting to that lot later. Yep. Fantastic. Looking forward Robin to Robin Sunglasses. <laughs> Look, we got a bit of £220 and it's 220 I will sell at 220 Can you make that one more? Come on, push one more button. Yeah, 220 worth, It is worth every single penny. And remember, yeah. all the proceeds are going towards the National Health Service. Come on, they need your help. They've been saving lives. They're making our lives a lot safer. Come on, £240. And I'm selling once, I'm selling twice, I'm selling at 220 You've got a deal. It's sold. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> right, lot number six. Do we have a phone call from Vincenzo from Italy? Come on, Bev, get on the phone, push some buttons. Anyway, I can get on with this lot while we have a quick phone chat with Vincenzo. It is at his grandfather's, I think, um, or his sister's birthday party with his family, socially distancing Ooh, in Italy. These symbols are normally made to order, OK? They're hand-hammered yeah, in the Tuscan hills of North Italy. And as you're going to hear when he speaks to you, um, and they're specially made uh, in... in uh... Oh. Vincenzo, we are here, go. and I'm going to hand you over to Paul Martin. Hi, Vincenzo. Hi. Hi, hello. We're on no, we're not on FaceTime, man. We haven't got time for that. But listen, tell me all about the symbol. Oh, my man. This is one of the best ones, in my opinion. I don't know. You were a great drummer. You are a great drummer, right? Talk, yeah, but talk me through the process of the symbol. We need to sell the symbol. So basically... The main difference from the other three uh, ways of making symbols is that the company who started using it uh, basically followed the uh, process of creating belts. So basically, instead of rolling up and down a piece of metal, they melt the actual 
bronze B20 into a rotating stone, so uh, the actual piece of metal is already in the shape of a symbol. So right. the note is precise from the bell to the body of the symbol, and it stays there, it's in tune, perfectly in tune. It's the only symbol who does that. Wow. And after that, they work the shapes and they clean up the symbol. So How long does it take to make that one symbol, Vincenzo? In what, in what way, you mean? Um, hand hammered, the whole process to produce one symbol. The, the process is called rotocasting to create the shape, the shape, and then all the rest is unmade like the Turkish used to be. The only difference is that instead of rolling a piece of metal, they actually create the shape uh, from the melt of the bronze. Right. So it's very complicated. So this thing, because it's rotating, it gets rid of all the bubble of hair, right. so it's very complicated to break them, and the balance in between the bell and the shake of the symbols is perfect. Wow, they are fantastic okay. symbols. Vincenzo, thank you so much. Say hello thank to everybody in Italy, and what a lovely it donation. <laughs> there, look, you've heard it. It is completely hand-hammered. It's handmade, and it's unbreakable, okay? So what's it worth? We're going to find out. Lot number... Six is this Tuscan handmade symbol, and it's going under the hammer now. We need £500, and hopefully we'll get that. We've got a current bid of 420 and I'm looking at 450 right now. Come on, surely 450 There's one more bid on the book. Come on, 450 Anyone out there? Yes, we've got a bid now, £450. It's worth £450. I'm selling this for £450. It's going once. Fair warning, it's going twice. It's sold. Thank you. Well done. That's a cracking symbol. A cracking symbol. You're going to enjoy that. And you know, apparently it's where the Verdi and all that stuff was made. You know, all the it goes back really yeah. to the early days of the old instruments. Okay, the lot number seven. I've always wanted a pair of 10 inch high hats, the Diddy hats. You can be so busy on the 10 inch hats, can't you? I've got 15 inch hats, that real sleazy Steve Jordan stuff, you know. Oh. But look, we've got some 10 inch hats now, kindly gifted by Tom Hooper, who's a fantastic session drummer. Yeah. You know Tom yeah, really well as well. Absolutely. A brilliant drummer. Okay, so lot number seven, some 10-inch hi-hats. What are they worth? Currently, we've got a bid of £130, which is a fantastic bid. We need, we need one more bid. Come on, we've got a reserve of 140 Surely, push one more button. It's for the National Health Service. Come on, every penny counts. Errol's sitting here. He's got his I'm fingers crossed. Bev's fingers got, crossed. Every, everything's crossed. Come on, £130. One more bid and I will sell. £130. We're looking, we're asking for £140. Please push those buttons right now. 10-inch hats. That's a wonderful addition, especially if you love your jazz rock, because you can be so busy on them, can't you? And you've got to think, this is for the NHS. Yes. You know? One more bid, surely. One more bid. 10-inch symbols here. Hi-hat symbols going under the hammer. We're looking at £140. Come on, surely we can do it. 140 Yes, we've got it. Last minute. £140. Oh, well done. Yay! Well done, Tom. Thank you so much. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> Lot number eight. A Kairos Ensemble CD signed by Tom Hooper. Okay. Uh, Tom played on this. It's, um, it's, it's absolutely lovely. I heard it on the way in, in the car. So we're looking for 20 to 40 pounds for this. And we already had a bid here online of 20 pounds. So we're straight in at 20 pounds online, 20 pounds. Any further advances on 20 pounds? We're looking at 25. 25 anywhere out there across the UK. 20 pounds is with me and I'm selling at 20 pounds. Lot number seven. It's going once. It's going twice. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> okay, now, lot number nine. Bev, you can tell me about this because Meg is a mate of yours and it is, well, it's a clock face, isn't it, from the oh, bass drum? Wow. Stunning. It's she really is. great. She's incredible. And what's brilliant about this snare drum is that, it's the bass drum, sorry, the big bass drum. The big is bass drum. It, it, she's made it so it's silent. So in the studio setup, you can have this clock, which not only looks beautiful, she insisted on signing it at the back. So it's this beautiful impression, the bass lovely, drum. Lovely. But it's also silent. So it's not going to interfere with any recording. No. So you've got the aesthetic and you've got the sound. No sound. She's very creative, isn't she? <laughs> She's brilliant. She's brilliant, though. absolutely brilliant. She's absolutely stunning. Right, OK, lot number nine is going under the hammer right now, and I'm looking for bids of around 50 to £100 pounds for this. It is unique, it is a one-off, it's a work of art, and it's only going to go up in value. Currently, 
Straight in, we have a bid of £130 online. Straight in, £130. Any further advances on £130? I'm looking and I'm asking for £140. It's only £10 more. Every penny helps. All the proceeds are going towards the NHS. Yes, we got it, £140. Is there £150 out there anywhere? <laughs> May I presume £150 for this wonderful work of art? £150. It's selling at £140, currently at £140, and it's, yes, £150. This is so exciting. This is like a real auction. I just wish there were more and more people in the room. <laughs> but there are millions out there online all over the world. £150 is with me. I'm looking at £160. £160 anywhere. £150, and I'm selling at £150. It's going once. It's going twice. It's... Thank you. That's brilliant. Well done, Meg. Right, hopefully we'll have a chat with Meg a bit later with the drum, with the snare drums, shall we? Great. Lot number 10. Okay, we have a 24-inch dry jazz ride cymbal. This is also from the heart of Turkey. You know, it, it's, it's wonderful. It's got pedigree. It's where the Isildjans came from. And you can't beat these wonderful dry ride cymbals because you tend to ride on and they build and they build and build. Sometimes they build too much. But, but you have to ride with it. Though. You've got to ride with it. It's got a swing. It's got a swing. It's got, it's a, got swing. a swing. Okay, <laughs> lot number 10. This ride symbol is worth currently, right now, on the market, if you had to go out and buy this, five, five, sorry, 500 to 700 pounds. So we're looking for bids starting at 400. It's gorgeous, isn't it? We need £400 to sell this, and I'm looking for £400 anywhere out there. £400. It's a beautiful symbol. Errol's tried it. It doesn't build. It's dry. It is, isn't it? Yeah, £400 anywhere. Come on, 400 I'll let you have it cheap. We need 450 but if anybody wants it, they can have it at £400. £400? I'm looking for £400. Currently, we have, yes, we do have 380 Surely, can you make that one more? Please make it one more. Another 20 quid. All the proceeds are going towards the National Health Service. They're saving lives. They're making our lives a lot healthier. Come on, 380 Please, one more. One more. 20 quid more. 20 quid more and I'll sell it. We have a current bid of 380 pounds. I'll tell you what, if we don't get it, I'll give you that 20 quid and we'll make it 400 pounds. It's going once, it's going twice. Boom, boom, sold, yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> right, okay. These are the kind, these are the kind of lots that I love. Okay, we've got a Zoom drum lesson, totally gifted by Tim Reynolds, okay, to improve your playing. Tim's a wonderful player. Yeah. Tim's a wonderful player. Now, if you are a young drummer and, you know, you're finding it hard for inspiration, you get in a rut, you don't know where to go, there are no drummers around that, you know, you can talk to, you can go and watch because live gigs are totally out of the question right now. You know, you need this guy's help because you need to maximise your practice if you only get an hour a day on the kit. There's other stuff you can do off the kit, you know, on pads, on practice kits, you know. It's about... It's about focusing and maximising your use of time to make you a better drummer. And this guy will make you a better drummer. So what's he worth? We're going to find out, OK? His drum lessons are normally around 50 to 100 pounds. So we need 50 quid to sell this, OK? I've got a bit of 50 straight away. I'm asking 60 now. We're straight in at 50 pounds. Come on, this is money well spent. It really is. And not only that, you'll get to know the guy. You know, you can swap stories. You can talk about, you know, your drumming problems, your posture, your breathing. You know, and it's so important. All of these things that you forget, you know, to smile when you're playing, to relax so you don't speed up. Come on, Tom is your man. Currently now, we are on £70, pounds, Errol. £70, pounds. yes. What, what £70. Pounds. I'm looking for £80 quid now, and I've got £80. Pounds. £80 pounds is with me, and I'm selling at £80. Pounds. It's going once. It's your last chance. It's going twice. Sold, thank you. Yeah. 80 pounds. Fantastic. You know what's interesting about this as well? Um, you can actually go and see, see him play. Uh, you can go on imaginationband.co.uk, go down the list, and you can see on YouTube, you can actually see him playing. So you, you, you can actually feel what this guy's all so about. So that will whet he, your appetite. Yeah, he is absolutely incredible. Yeah, and have yeah. your questions ready. You know, have yeah. loads of questions. Because, you, because as a young drummer, you need to ask questions because people yeah. can't read your mind, OK? So you ask questions. I've been to many drum clinics, you know, and um, I've seen the greats play, you know, like Bozio, Gad, Billy Cobham, you know, when, when he was with the Maha Visual Orchestra. There was a kid up the back... Billy Cobham was doing this drum solo, and I mean, it was awesome, you know, and he could do the thumb roll, he could do everything. A kid out the back said, 
why don't you twist the sticks in the air when you do your drum solo? And do you know what Billy said? Yeah. No, he didn't. He said, man, those sticks don't make a noise when they're in the air. <laughs> <laughs> So make sure you ask sensible questions because this guy will improve your technique. Right, okay. <laughs> Lot number 12, a zoom in with Mr. World. Now, he was the UK's first Mr. World. He was, and I think we could get him on the phone. Jack Hazelwood, well, if we, we can't, could get him on the phone. don't worry, okay? okay? So what's Jack going to do? Because he's a great drummer. Yeah. Well, he can be your guest of honour at a... Um, in fact, I'm getting him now. When he's you. allowed to. Yeah, he would love to be your guest of honour. He's at the your party. first ever Mr. World. He's answering now. Here he is. Jack. Hello, Bev. Are you there? You're Hi, Jack. The it's Paul Martin at the charity auction How here. Are you Hello, mate. You're Mr. World. Are you married to Miss World? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the plan. <laughs> that's the plan. Well done. <laughs> She's gorgeous, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Jack, thank you very much. It's a great donation, and I know you're prepared to travel. You're a great drummer, and thanks for supporting us and for supporting the National Health Service, OK? Brilliant. Uh, well, it's all thanks to Errol and Bear for making yeah. it all happen. Great people, yeah. great people. Yeah, I'll pass you back. Right, OK. So Jack is going to come to your house. He's going to hang out, maybe bring his drums. You never yeah. know. You never know, do you? You never know what Jack's going to do. You're, you're going to have an absolute <laughs> great time with Jack because he's, he's, he's such he's a, such an amazing okay. guy. Really OK, can we, get, can, we, can we get 50 quid for Jack? It's going under the hammer right now or under my stick on my wonderful little setup here. We've got a current bid of £40. We're looking at 45 now. Come on, we've got a bid of 40 £40 pounds is with me. Any further advances? I'm looking for 45 £45. Pounds. Surely it's worth that. £45. Pounds. Yes, we've got £45. Pounds. Jack says he needs 50 quid, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> Jack will lower his fee for a fiver for the National Health Service. It's going once. It's going twice. Jack, you're out and about. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, lot number 13 is a 45-minute Zoom lesson or a chat with Terry Bryant. Talking drums, music industry, old tell. It's another worthwhile hour... Incredible. Or, well, three quarters of an hour on Zoom, yeah, isn't it? He's yeah. amazing. He's a man of wisdom. He knows so much about drums. He toured with me back in the day, as I mentioned. Yeah. But he's played with so many people. I mean, yeah. he's just a great player and a great human being. And what he doesn't know about drumming and, and philosophy and life, he's just, yeah. you get yeah. something yeah. really yeah. special. He's to forgotten you. more about drumming than I know, probably. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, so lot number 13, OK? We need 50 quid and we're straight in. The current bid is £50. Pounds. Can we make that 60? Can we make it 60? Surely another £10, pounds, you know? It's all going to the National Health Service, so come on, dig deep. We've got £50 pounds with us right now, £50, pounds, and I'm selling at £50. Pounds. Make no mistake, it's going once. It's going twice. And it's sold. Well done. Yay! That That is a great session. You will learn so much. You will learn so much. OK, lot number 14, two CDs. It's um, Psalm Drum and Productions, The Drum Beat and The Best of Psalm. OK, we're looking at 20 to 40 pounds. We've got an, inter we got an internet bid of 10 pounds and there's no reserve on this lot. So 10 pounds is straight in. 10 pounds is with me now. We're looking for 15, but I'm selling once. I'm selling twice. 10 pounds. No further advances. It's going now. So, thank you. 10 pounds. Well done. Well done. Right, OK, we've got an extraordinary... Scr scr oh, lost for words there. We've got an extraordinary <laughs> Scottish treat at the award-winning Door Hotel in Aberdeen. I have oh, stayed there. Stay. I have stayed there. Yeah, it's just literally outside the city centre. It's on that It's on that highway, that dual carriageway, which was really busy, but they've completed it now, so it's dead easy to get into yeah. the city centre. It is a huge, great big baronial pile. It, it, it really amazing. is. It's all stone and it's, it's wonderful. It's in the most beautiful landscape gardens. It's quiet. It's a wonderful stay. And I can honestly say, you know, it's the best. <laughs> now, it's going to cost you 500 to 1,000 pounds to stay there for two people yeah, for a weekend. A meal, We're getting a meal. Wine. Massage. Getting the whole thing. Massage. Jacuzzi. Getting the whole thing. And then four hours with Murray. On drumming. drums. drums yeah. On drumming. Down in the ballroom. She's trained yeah. with some of the best. She's a brilliant person and a fantastic teacher. So she's going to be amazing. OK, so that's a, that's a whole package for it's drummer. Package. Yeah. Take the wife away as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. She did the and enjoy that coast of Scotland. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OK, who's going to start me off? I've got an interbit... I've got an internet bid of £450. We're looking for 500 right now. 
Any further advances on 450? We have 480. 480 pounds, surely. Yes, 480 pounds. Come on, come on. One more bid. One more bid. Make it one more bid. Push some more buttons. Every <laughs> penny will help. Can we let that go at 20 pounds less, Errol? Yeah, I think we could. I think we could, don't you? Well, it's going once. Our current bid is 480 pounds. It's going twice. Sold. Well done. Thank you. Brilliant. Okay, lot number 16, three pairs of drum, sorry, three pairs of drum That's lessons. How do you get three pairs of drum lessons? Ooh. It's three Ooh. drum lessons, really, isn't it? Yeah. It's three drum lessons <laughs> with Gary O'Toole. Now, he's, he's a fantastic not, teacher he's a because he's, he's, not only is he a great drummer, but he's really articulate as well. Yeah. So, so he can put across everything you need to know. And he's been a musician since he was yeah. a child. Yeah. His family are musicians and he's just the most fabulous human being, you know, and you will... Just and we only found out, well, I only found out recently that he's got, he's got such a great voice as well. He's a great singer. He's a great singer. Wow. So can you imagine when you go to him for a lesson, the extras you're going to pick up? Yeah. It's yeah, and that's fantastic. what it's. And also, look, it's the three pairs you get three yeah. pairs of free drumsticks yes. with that lesson, okay? <laughs> so that's well worth it. Yeah. It's got a value of two to three hundred pounds. We need to get to the lower end of that. We need two hundred pounds. So, what are you going to start me off with? A current bid now of one hundred and twenty pounds. Any further advances on one hundred and twenty pounds? Come on. Come Money on, can't buy this. Come on, please. Come on. Dig deep. One hundred and twenty. One hundred and twenty pounds is with me. I have a bid of one hundred and twenty pounds. A current bid of one twenty. I'm asking one thirty. It's only ten pounds more. Do we see one hundred and thirty pounds? I can sell it at one thirty. Make no mistake. I will be selling at one hundred and thirty because every penny counts, and every penny is going to the National Health Service. So come on, fingers crossed. One hundred and thirty pounds. We're looking for one hundred and thirty pounds. Make it one more, and I will sell. Yeah. Come on, dig deep. £130. It's going once. Yes, it's going twice. We've got it. £130 sold. Yay. Well done, Gary. OK, now, a Zoom chat with another drumming world record holder, Ali Brown. Oh, we can ring oh. Ali. He's in, in Ireland. He's Is he? Quick, try and get him on the phone. But if not, I'm going to knock his lot out right now, OK? So it's a Zoom chat. And, of course, you can talk technique. You can talk about, you know, what problems you've got with your own technique. You can talk about how, how you can get inspired, who you should listen to, what you should listen to, and how you should practice. And the great thing is about him, he's the world record holder. Ali! You've got to Paul here. How'd you get to be the world record holder? Tell us all about that. Hello, Paul. Hello. Well, yeah, I booked the world record um, a couple of times, actually. My last one was over 100 hours. I played 102 hours and 49 minutes. Um, and I've, done a, I've played over 100 hours more than once. Um, it's, uh, was that on a drum kit? Was that on a drum kit? It was on a, on a full drum kit, yes, that's right. Whoa. Wow, that is incredible. How did you feel after that? Um, Smashed. Well, it's very hard, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was playing along to maybe 4,000 songs, one after the other. Wow. Um, and just doing my best for charity, of course, at all those times as well. Yeah. And um, being part of this has been absolutely unbelievable. Oh. And it's an honour to be part of it. Oh, bless you, mate. You take care. Thank you so much. <laughs> bye bye. Right, Ali. Great, Ali. Whoa. Great to talk, mate. Over 100 hours. Yeah. That, is, that, that is incredible. Absolutely. And he'll talk about how you do a record, you know, and he's yeah. such a great guy. Wow. Yeah. OK. Been really honoured to have What's him. it worth? Come on, we got a bid of £45. I need 50 quid and I can sell at £50. A current bid of 45 I'm looking for 50 £45 is with me now. Surely we can't let this go. £45. It's going once. It's going twice. I'm going to sell this. It's only five quid less of the reserve. Yeah. This is going. This is going for £45. If I can't get any further advances, I'm selling at 45 Make no mistake, please push a button if you want to. Every penny counts, but I'm selling at £45. It's going once. It's going twice. Twice sold. Yay! <laughs> well done, Ali. And he sounds a character as well. He's, He's fabulous. Good man. Right, lot number 18. Paul Stewart has done the ultimate rock down road trip. Now, he's also signed this drum head of yours, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah? The, yes. the whole fact, of the feeling. The whole of the feeling. It was his it was snare his that he drummed on throughout ah. the whole 12 hour marathon. Yeah. So it's been beaten to a pulp. Yeah. And, and it's got yeah. history. Um, and his sticks are with it as well. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, I mean, uh, and there's a little video clip of him Great. talking about how he drove in his Chevy. Yeah. 1957 Bel Air. Yeah. Chevy. And he drives around to all the members of the band. Yeah. And get them to sign. That's it. fantastic. So, it's every yeah. member of the so if, you're, if you're a big yeah. fan of the feeling, how do you put a price on that? Yeah. 
Yeah. You can't, can you? You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. And it's right, feeling fans that. out there, yeah, get yeah. pushing those buttons, yeah. okay? We've got an internet bid straight in at £150. Any further advances <laughs> on £150. I'm looking for £160. Anywhere out there, £160. We will take it. Currently, it's £150. This is a one-off. It's absolutely unique. You can't put a price on it. Get that framed and stick it on the wall. Come on, £150 is with me, and I'm selling at £150. It's going once. It's going twice. Fair warning. Sold. £150. Well done. Well done. And thank you, Paul. OK, lot number 19, a two-hour drum lesson with John Harris. And John has played with the likes of Roachford and many other rock bands. A great player. That's two hours with John Harris, when you're allowed to. Oh, he's incredible. He's a brilliant drummer. He's incredible. OK, what's it worth? Well, it's worth 50 to £100, pounds, that's for sure. So what do you start me off with? Come on out there. £50 pounds anywhere? I'm looking for £50. Pounds. Come on, young drummers. This is a one-to-one -one with a top drummer. Any further advances on £50? Pounds? We've got £50 pounds now. We need a little bit more. 50 pounds, we're looking at 50, we've got 50 pounds. Any further advances on 50 pounds? 60 will crunch the deal, come on, come on, every penny helps. Come on, please. Do you know what, I've got it, I'm just gonna sell it at 50 pounds. I'm gonna sell it, I'm gonna sell this at 50 pounds. It's going once, it's going twice, fair warning, <laughs> sold. Look, this is all about young drummers learning. That's what it's all about. And it's all about us getting as much money for the National Health Service. So that's what we're here to do. And thank you so much. Right, OK, now, we have got, Peisty, we've got a 16-inch thin crash cymbal. Now, these cut, don't they? They swish, they cut. And they are bright as anything, absolutely bright. They'll cut through all of the grunge of a guitar noise and they'll be right up there. What's it worth, Errol? 350 to 500 quid. In some places you go to some shops, right? And you could be paying a lot more. Yeah. Honestly. And it's all the holes cut in it, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it yeah. makes it, it just makes it, it makes it die cheese. quickly. It's a Swiss cheese. It's a slice symbol. of Emmental. Yeah. It's Noam Lederman's, isn't yeah. it? It's, it is. It was Which Noam is... Lederman that donated yeah. it, and it's stunning. Yeah, yeah he, he's a great drummer too. He's a brilliant drummer. Really Absolutely brilliant zen drummer. And beautiful and gorgeous. So, what's this bit of Swiss cheese worth? <laughs> <laughs> in the supermarket at Fiverr. But look, right now in a drum store, you're looking at 500 quid. It is a stunner. Yeah. And it just cuts out, doesn't yeah. it? So if you're working with a vocalist and you crash, you know, it's not there hanging. Yeah. It's gone. Back in the day, you used to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Choke it. You don't need to with this. OK, I've got a bit of 300 pounds. I'm looking for 320 now. A current bit of 300 straight in at 300 pounds. Come on. Come on. This is a serious piece of kit. It is a serious piece of kit. Three hundred pounds. We're looking at three twenty. Is there three hundred and twenty pounds anywhere? A firm bit of three hundred pounds is with me. I'm looking for three twenty. I can sell at three hundred. I will sell at three hundred. That's its reserve. I'd like a bit more. Every penny is going towards the charity, oh the National Health Service. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Let's add to that drumathon. Three hundred pounds is with me, and I'm selling at three hundred pounds. Fair warning. Once, twice. Sold. <laughs> Someone's got a great symbol. They certainly they have. Really have. Okay, we've got another bespoke drum lesson now with John Howes. Okay. Oh, he's great. You know, he goes on tour. Uh, they do Queen. Yes, he's that's right. He's a percussionist. He's, he's a percussionist. No, he, he, I mean, he. I, I watched a video of him, and the way he gets the crowd going, and he does like a little solo, and he, yeah. he, he sort of like just interact yeah, with the crowd. He is. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. He is. and he adds all the percussion on top, yeah, doesn't he? All yeah. the top line percussion. He's incredible. Well, look, he can add some percussion to your drum tracks. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Yeah. He, and his setup is amazing. Yeah. He's set up in his studio at home yeah. and he just adds into it. Or so if you've got a song, let him work on it. This is awesome. He just send it over to him and he just sprinkled magic all over it. Oh, it's all those little dynamics, yeah. isn't it? And you yeah. just yeah. pull them out left, yeah. right, and centre. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, okay, what's it wow. worth? Well, look, it I should. Think there's a closet Queen Bohemian Rhapsody person <laughs> out there, you know, maybe. <laughs> They'd have the ultimate, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> OK, look, this, this is worth around 120 to 180 pounds. OK, we've got a fixed reserve of 110 pounds. So what are we looking at now? Come on, straight in. Please, please, dig deep and bid. We're looking at 110 pounds. We've got a bid of 80 pounds. 80 pounds is now online with me right now. 80 pounds. We're looking at 100. Do we see 100 anywhere? Come on, please, please push those buttons. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. This is, this is just think, you've got that amazing track and you want some serious drums, you want some effects on there, you want it to kind of be so current, right? This is the guys that he's going to give it to you and some. Yeah, amazing. What are we seeing for this? Do you know what? 
Let's come back to that. We're not getting any bids right now. We're going to come back to that and we're going to jump to a 20-inch Toscan ride symbol. Okay, donated by Vince Dunn. Oh, my God. Oh, Vince. Vince. Vince, honestly, in the drumathon, right, Vince had such a great set. It was such a mixture. It had jazz. It yeah. had oh, it was oh, beautiful. It was a it, sunny Sunday. Yeah. And he just got us through this sunny yeah. Sunday in uh, the most chilled, relaxed way. And he drummed from just where you're sitting. Wow. Well, exactly. From this very from room. This very spot. And very one of the lots coming up in the auction is a spot in this very room as yes. well. So, yes. Yeah, in this studio. Look, this, this symbol's worth three to four hundred pounds. So let's get the bidding started. And we're looking at three to four hundred pounds. Currently, come on. We've got £200 straight in online, £200. Any further advances? Yes. We now have £250 is a current bid, £250. We've got a firm reserve of 300 on this, but we're looking at 250 Is there 260 anywhere? Come on, we can get a little closer. And the auctioneer here could be a little lenient. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, you can do this, dig deep. with Madonna, Madonna. yeah? And, these, like, and you can know that this symbol's been through amazing hands. You've got to come And he there. signed it. And he signed it as well. Yeah. And, it's, and it's been on many life. albums. Yes. It's been on many. We've got a bit of £250. Come on, we're looking at 260 Legend. 260 please push those buttons. £260. We are asking you for £260. I've got a bid of two fifty. Can I sell this at two fifty? Will he go mad? I'll just ring him. <laughs> just ring him up. <laughs> Can we? Um, I'm just getting him here. I think he's at Holly. He's in Hollywood at the moment. Oh, he's engaged. <laughs> oh, he's in bed. Where is Scott? Can't believe it, could you? <laughs> he's well, he's a busy guy. Oh, oh dear. On. Oh no, Vince, where are you when we need you? <laughs> so tell us a little story. How did you two guys meet? Well, we 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 met at a DJ they convention met in Atlanta. In, fact. in Atlanta, and and it's, New the, York. It's, it's the big uh, DJ convention where in America, where all the DJs uh, come together from all over the world, and they start looking at uh, what songs they're going to be playing on the radio globally. And so you get artists like ourselves would go there and show off the songs. So oh, you have to perform them. It was the beginning of sort of dance music, you know. Yeah. It was sort of early 80s, really. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we were touring. I was touring with Modern Romance. I was queen of the rapping scene. Wow. With them. Yeah. Don't kid yourself, you waste of space. You're a super slug with an ugly face. Next time you try to make a pass, just stick to women. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Well done. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we oh. And yeah. um, we had a great time doing yeah. the music. And then we got back, and the band I was in, the Techno Twins. Yeah. I remember them. Big surprise. Big surprise uh, with Steve and Big Fanny. debut at the, at the Dominion Brilliant. Theatre. I mean, you had George Michael, Boy George, yeah. uh, uh, everybody, Steve Strange, you name it. Uh, Susie and the Banshees, you know, it was that Yeah, yeah really it was that. Yeah, it was great, Gorgeous wasn't it? Gorgeous time, really. Yeah. And, and then, uh, I, we were the support acts, Yeah, we? and so I guess it's everybody like, came along and said we were going to fail, but we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. They it were was amazing. A great but we had two robots, yeah. didn't we? We had. I, I, I used to come on and dressed as a bride because the song I sang was "Falling in Love Again." Never wanted to, you know. It was very, and I, I dressed as a bride with flowers, and I got these great marks all over my face from these tiger lilies. You know those, yes. those lilies. Yeah, yeah. And I because they leave a stain on your clothes, don't <laughs> yeah. they? Yeah. yeah. So what, to you, and I'm, I didn't know. I thought I looked fabulous, yeah. but I had these marks all over my face. Like <laughs> well, that was the new romantic yeah, look. Exactly. Well, <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was romantic. Mel Gainer was with us. Mel, Mel was, Mel was there Mel. before and, Simple Minds. And, yeah. and, and yeah. Um, who was singing? Sunita. Sunita was on that. Yeah, she wow. Was on the she show. was a backing singer for us yeah. back in the wow. day as well. Gosh, and DC Lee, who was yeah. Um, yeah. Well so, 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 yeah. so, what, what, what are your musical highlights? What, 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 what will you remember the most out of your career so far? I know there's plenty wow. more left, wow. but well, I, I, what are your so highlights? I, I, um, I think there is a couple of things, but there, there was one where we actually did a show in a ball ring in in Spain, and it was 150,000 people, and we were right in the middle of it. And I can't tell you what it feels like when you when you're in a band. And all the eyes are on you, and you just feel so small. <laughs> you do. Yeah. It was, I and mean, we were like shaking. <laughs> You're in the middle. Uh, and you see all these big screens, and you <laughs> up on the screen. That was really, really scary. And that's yeah. really, And I think then that other highlight was um, that gig in playing, Paris that we supported you on. That was, was amazing. That wasn't was it? amazing. That was a really good. That time. was a great gig. But you know what? You know what? The other thing was amazing is like no uh, on. 
playing on the show with Marvin Gaye. Yeah, wow. Soul Train. Oh, wow. That, that was a fantastic show that we, we did. Um, never forget it. And it's really funny. The late, great Marvin oh, Gaye. Yeah, that, that was amazing. a fantastic, amazing. fantastic oh. show. So that really, really go, uh, resonates uh, with yeah. me as yeah. one, of, one of the great yeah. things. What about you, Bev? For me, I think, you know, back in the day, I mean, it was, it was so interesting because I did 250 gigs a year and made an album. So it was like non-stop. It was on the road for about... Seven years, non-stop, yeah. really. And, um, but that's the way I, you learn your craft. Yeah, you do. And it's, it's so beautiful. And I look back and I think, well, there was, there was one day that was quite extraordinary. We played Reading Festival. We were the last new wave act that stayed. So we, we were honouring our contract. Everybody else pulled out. They had brains. We didn't. <laughs> We were like, there were literally party sevens being thrown at us because the whole audience had gone heavy metal. Of course they had, And yeah. they hated everything we did. We looked, you know, we were punks, new wave. Yeah. We looked like, so, but we played 25,000 people in the afternoon and then another, I think, 50,000 in the evening at Greenbelt Festival and we were the headline act and it was stunning. And that taught me that you can play, context is everything for me. Sure. You know, because, you know, you play to one audience and you're the wrong style and they're not going to like you, no. you know, the first 200 at least. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're giving you the grief. Yeah. <laughs> I was kicking party seven back. Yeah, you've you got to earn that respect up on yeah, that yeah. stage, haven't you? But the Absolutely. evening was magic, and yeah. it, every note dropped, and it was beautiful. Oh, wonderful, so, wonderful. Yeah. I mean, the good times, because, you know... There were so many venues for musicians to play. And, oh, you know, yeah. nowadays I feel sorry the for the young guys. Club, yeah. You know, the Marquee, I mean, I I've played, played the Marquee Club, Club so many times in Wardle oh, Street. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just awesome, Great. absolutely Great. awesome. Great. One of the best. And I sang with Ron, um, one of our people, Sarah Class, who's donated. Um, I, I sang um, with her at Ronnie Scott's. That was a bit of a moment too. Yeah, I've played, played Ronnie good, Scott's. I've played Ronnie Scott's. Yeah, lovely. Really, really intimate. I've played there as well. Yeah, absolutely. really intimate. Lovely. Before right. She changed it, actually. What do you think? We've done digress slightly because we had to have a little segue a little chat to Errol and Bev because we lost all of our internet connection as you can see my screen hasn't come back up but we've got something over there now so bear with us it is technology it is live you're still with us and fingers crossed we can carry on with this we're on lot number 20 not number 21 right now and it's the Toscan ride symbol, OK? We're looking at three to £400. We have a current bid of £250. £250 is on the book. We've got to reserve a £300. One more bid and I will sell this. One more bid. Come on, please. Get those fingers tapping those buttons. One more bid. Come on, please. 250 is with me. Oh, do you want bids done? If you can get him, get him. If not, we're moving on. Oh, you're moving we're moving on. on. We're moving on. We're going to sell now. Look, £260. It's going once. <laughs> it's going twice. Shall we sell it at £260? Yes. So. Yeah. Well, that was a brief interlude where we found out about your highlights. <laughs> if it goes, if it goes wrong, we'll talk about your the down points. Okay, yeah, the low, the low points. Right, lot number twenty-two. One bespoke lesson again. Um, sorry, it's not number. Yes, it is number twenty-two. Look over here. It's a bespoke drum lesson and one song by John Howells, and he will add his drums and his percussion to your songs. It's as simple as that. You get a top pro making your song, your demo, sound absolutely fantastic. What's it worth? 120 to 180 pounds. Currently, I've got a bid online now of 100 pounds. So we're nearly there. Look, a firm reserve of 110. 110 we're looking at, and we've got it straight in, 110. Really? Any further advances on 110? 111. <laughs> OK, who's the joker? Do we see 112? We've got a bid of 111 pounds, and I'm selling. It's going once. It's going twice. Sold. <laughs> There's always one out there, isn't there? Right, a Risk CD, Mel Gaynor's CD. Good old Mel. It's donated by Mel, OK. Well, His new say, band. I've got to say this, right? Mel was here playing, and he was playing Mike Gretsch. And Mel's a really heavy player. Hey, look. He's a, re he's a groover, but he's a he's heavy He's a groover. Player. I've seen him. Oh, but my, my kit was crying afterwards. Uh, <laughs> Help me! Look, Mel Gaynor, Mel, Mel Gaynor, right, was sitting where I am right now, OK? And you see, this is one of Mel's sticks. It's a carbon fibre stick, right? Supposed to be indestructible. Look what yeah. he did to it. Oh, goodness! <laughs> Take a look at that. <laughs> That's Mel Gaynor. <laughs> Do you know, everyone learnt Mel Gaynor's fill-ins when he was in Simple Minds. Those big yeah. snare fills, just building and building. It was incredibly sexy, wasn't it? It was just like building the tension. And all of a sudden it would be... Pfft. Yes, Simple Minds, great stadium, Bam. Great, Bam. 
Right, okay, so you got Mel's new CD. Okay, lot number 23. We've got a current bid of £5, and I'm looking for further advances on that. There's no reserve, so I can sell this at £5. I've got £5 on the book, and I'm selling at 5 It's going once. Make no mistake, it's going twice. Fair warning, fair warning, £5, and it's sold. Thank you. You'll enjoy listening to that. Okay, lot number 24. A signed drum head, a drum key, and a digital metronome by... Alexis, Alexis Nunes. Nunes. Yeah. Yes, of the Kooks. Great band. Okay, so look, you can't buy stuff like this. This is his kit, right? What's it worth? We're going to find out right now. And I've got an internet bid straight in at £150. £150 straight in online. And I'm selling at £150. Any further advances on £150? It's going once. It's going twice. Fair warning, sold. £150. <laughs> Lot number 25. Romy and the Fox family percussionist will virtually stream live to your party in your house. This is amazing because yeah. you can salsa. They can yeah. really whip up and a groove. Absolutely. They're Ibiza. It's like right. an Ibiza yeah. party and you got, you know, this weather, them playing. It's great. They're brilliant. brilliant. They are brilliant. They are brilliant. They're yeah. magic. Three, three percussions, drummers. Yeah. Be it's great. completely layered. It's yeah. completely yeah. layered with rhythm. Yeah. And you will just get on your feet and, and yeah. dance. And they're wherever you are. Lot number 25, a current bid now. I'm looking for bids of around 125 and we're straight in at 110. 110. Any further advances on 110? I'm looking for 120 anyway. 120, come on. They'll come out and they'll do this for 125 quid. We're just shy by 15 pounds. Every penny is going towards the National Health Service. So come on, please dig deep. Add to the 30 grand we've already made plus what we're doing tonight. Come on, it's all down to you. It's down to you. 110 is with me now and I'm selling at 100. 110. Surely I can let this go a little bit cheaper, can't I? 110. Have a word, okay? 110 pounds. You have a word, Bev. No one messes with Bev. 110. It's going once. It's going twice. Sold. Okay. Brilliant. Robin Gibbs sunglasses, some rock and roll memorabilia. It does come with a song. Have we got a clip?
<laughs> that really grooves. You want to get on your feet, don't you? Yeah. Did you enjoy playing that? I really enjoyed playing that. That was really great. And we're up till last, up uh, till four o'clock this morning, uh, editing all that. Live uh, link to live Athens. Live link to Athens. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, some of the original members of the band in there? Yeah. yeah. Back, back, Blue. back in musicians? Blue. Yeah. Blue. With yeah. the keyboard, keyboard player, player, with the all the whole eighty stuff, you know, wow. Saturday Night Fever. Wow. Oh. The whole really when the Bee Gees just hit. Yeah, like. I mean the harmonies were superb, but a lot a lot of people don't know that they could really rock it out, couldn't they? I mean they could rock really, it out. Really good. Really good. Right. Okay. Well, look, this is a one-off piece of rock and roll Great memorabilia. Song yeah. Superb songwriters. That's where the really? dosh is. That's where the money is. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Okay. Look, these sunglasses are worth. Well over a thousand pounds, aren't they? Well over. Well, well, if you think of it right, where would you get an original pair of glasses that has been worn on so many gigs and for so many yeah. years by Robin Gibbs? And we've got mm -hmm. lots and lots of memorabilia to go with this it. Yeah. Lots of provenance, lots of paperwork. Gift. Okay, lots of photos. So um, this is one hundred percent genuine. Uh, who's going to start me off with a bid of six hundred pounds? Do I see six hundred pounds anywhere online straight away? Six. We've got eight now. Eight hundred pounds. Gosh, this is jumping. Eight. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. One thousand. One thousand. Eleven hundred. Eleven hundred is with me. Twelve hundred pounds this is zooming along this has got just great provenance isn't it it's only going to go up in value 1200 pounds is with me online 1200 pounds right now any further advances 13 we're looking for 13 do we get 13 yes we've got 13 now 1300 pounds 1300 pounds every penny is going towards the national health service it's selling once it's selling twice it's going make no mistake fair warning 100 100, 1,300 pounds. 1,300 pounds. It's going once, twice. So, oh, thank you. That was fantastic. This is so beautifully framed as well. You this know? is great. Beautiful. Great. Beautiful, fantastic. beautiful. And RJ, his son, yeah. is... Iconic. Robin's sunglasses yeah. are iconic, iconic, aren't they? They really are. Yeah. Well done, what a generous donation. Okay, lot number 27, a collection of Blondie memorabilia. Another old mate of yours, oh, Clem Burke. Clem Burke. We love it. What him. a guy. We love him. I mean, to be able to, um, where is he? He's in LA. Yeah, ring him up and say, everything. come on, Clem. He's so Clem. generous, yeah. you know. I mean, he's a great drummer. Yeah. I mean, and he's interested in marathon drumming. You know, he did something special in Oxford, at Oxford yeah. University, looking at the way drummers drum for long periods of yeah. time and how they're like marathon runners. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's a, a great he's drummer. Great I mean, he's well. part of the whole history of rock and yeah. roll. He, he's probably, he's just brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Great he's image brilliant. as well. And, and, a great and image Debbie in Harry. Oh, yeah. the two of them. And, and you know Fantastic. what's great about this as well? He's signed, they, he's, he's signed some sticks. He's, he's also got a signed drum head with everybody in the band as well. Yeah. Which, Debbie Harry, which, everyone signed the whole uh, The whole head. band signed it. Which, I mean, when will we ever get a you signed won't. drum you head? We will never get that. No, yeah, and the, yeah. thing, the thing is with these drum heads is you get them mounted, you get them on a wall behind glass, and all of a sudden they've tripled their value. They become collectible, yeah. they're protected, you keep them out of the sunlight, they're going to last forever, and they will go up in value. So it's your chance now to buy some rock and roll memorabilia that will only make you a great investment, OK? okay. So, what are we looking at here? Online, straight away, straight in. I'd like a thousand pounds and I've got 800 straight in. 800 pounds. 800 pounds is with me. We're looking at nine. Nine anywhere. Come on out there. Get those buttons. Push those buttons down. Look, Bev's getting on the phone right now. She's getting hold of Clem. <laughs> yes, look, we've got a thousand pounds now. A thousand pounds now online. We've got it. Any further advances on a thousand? One thousand one hundred. One thousand one hundred is with me right now. We'll take that. One thousand one hundred pounds. It's going once. Fair warning, it's going twice. And I'm selling at one thousand one hundred pounds. Thank you so much, whoever bought that. Lot number 27. Now, do we have a little film clip for this? Because this is the soundtrack for David Attenborough's BBC Africa soundtrack. More than 450 billion litres of rainwater travelling down thousands of rivers are heading west. The waters pick up speed as the rivers spill over the edge of the central plateau and create giant cascades of white water.
everybody, my name is Sarah Class, and first of all, I would like to say a massive thank you to Bev Sage and Errol Kennedy for their superb brainchild, Dramathon 2020. Um, I first met the wonderful Bev in Bristol, and we did a fantastic gig singing together at Ronnie Scott's Club a few years ago. And now, a few years later, the pair of them, together with some other very talented people, have raised a phenomenal amount of money in support of our incredible NHS. So thank you all for your generous giving so far and please do join us for the amazing Dramathon 2020 Grand Finale Auction where I will be donating this. See that lovely picture of me as a monkey? Um, I think I look quite stylish. Uh, it's an original soundtrack of BBC Africa series uh, which you can't get those anymore and also another limited edition um, Green Man which is my new EP which has just come out. So very exciting and that's a limited edition promo um, and yes thank you for everything uh, thank you for watching keep your amazing donations coming and best of luck at the auction see you there how about that thank you sarah that was amazing that was amazing wasn't it yeah Great donation. Right, what's it worth? We're going to find out. Lot number 28. Who's going to start me off with a bid? I've got it straight in. Online, £25. £25 is with me. Do I see 30 anywhere? We're looking for £30 now. £30. We would love £30. Every penny helps. And every penny is going towards the National Health Service. So we've got £25 straight in. And I'm selling at £25. Make no mistake. It's going once, going twice. Fair warning, £25. Sold. <laughs> Okay, lot number 28, the studio album. This is Famille. This is, this is signed. This Sophie is Sophie Ellis-Baxter. Ellis yes. Thank you so much, Sophie. Yes, wow. well done, Sophie. That is Beautiful. brilliant. Signed album. Should be worth, well, let's, wow. well, come on, 50 come quid, on. surely. Could we get 50 quid? Yeah, We've got to get 50 guys. quid. We've got to reserve a 25 pounds. So, fingers crossed, straight in, online, 30 pounds. 30 pounds is with me. We're looking for 35 pounds now. And we've got it. An, inter an internet bid of 35 pounds. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. I need some water. If you can give me a glass of water, I'd love that. 35, we've got 35, 36. Wow, come on, bit more, bit more. An internet bid now, 50 pounds. Straight in, 50 pounds. 50 pounds and I'm selling at 50 pounds it's doubled its reserve it's a fantastic result it's going once it's going twice the yellow light's flashing and we're selling 50 pounds wow. the hammer's gone down it's brilliant oh Errol thank you very much thank you whoa right okay I love this next lot lot number 30 it's a portrait of Keith Moon. Oh, this is Andy Bell, who's in Ride with Loz. Yeah. And what a great uh, our gorgeous social media girl, Bex. Yeah. She knew him, asked him to do this, and we were just blown away. Keith Moon. I know, I know. And he's got the RAF Roundel as yes. well. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And he's, Rock and roll. Yeah. And he Thank painted you, that on my, on, my, on, my, on my skin, my yeah. drum head. Wow, yeah, drum that's head. incredible. Yeah. Wow. Did you ever see Keith Moon play? No. no, nor did I. No. No. I'd no. love to have seen him play. He's just, I love him. He's yeah. just mad. Like a He's spider, wasn't he? Yeah. He played the drums like a lead guitarist. Yeah. He'd just, just go off on one. Just yeah. like, you know. and, yeah. But he would, he would push and pull, wouldn't he? He'd speed yeah. up and slow down and yeah. create a lot of tension yeah. for everybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if the Keith Moon rock and roll stories come out later, if anything breaks down, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, well, look, a big thank you to Andy Bell. OK, what's this worth? We're looking at an estimate of 120 to 180, and it's going under the hammer right now. And we're straight in online. There is a bit online. Look at this. Can you see that? there 500 pounds Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's, <laughs> that's the power of art <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Again, you know, just get it framed and get it on the wall. Yeah. Five hundred pounds straight in. Any further advances on five hundred pounds? We're looking at five fifty yeah. now. Five fifty. Do I see five fifty anywhere? An internet bid of five hundred and fifty pounds. We have it. We have it. Five hundred and fifty pounds. We're looking at six hundred now. Six hundred pounds anywhere out there. Six hundred pounds. We're looking for six hundred pounds. We got it. Six hundred. Six hundred pounds. This is superb. Uh, it's great. That's what I'm saying. Get it yes. framed. Get it on the wall. He's in Margate, actually. £600 yeah. online right now, and I'm selling at £600. It's going once. It's going twice. Fair warning. Any further advances on six. 
Yes, we got it. Six hundred and fifty pounds. Wow. Six hundred and fifty pounds. Seven hundred. Seven hundred pounds. Come on, you can do it. Come on. We are we are making memories here. Drummers are doing this. We're laying down the groove. We're raising money for the National Health Service. Seven hundred pounds online with me right now, and I'm selling at seven. Fair warning. Seven hundred pounds once, twice. Seven fifty. Wow. Seven hundred and fifty pounds. We could be here all night. £750, £800 is with me now, online, £800, £800, wow, this is fantastic, thank you so much and thank you for all the people that are underbidding this, please come back for one more, we've got £800 and I'm selling at £800, it's going once, it's going twice, fair warning, I'm selling at £800, £850. Whoa! Unbelievable! <laughs> yeah, 900, 900 pounds, 900 pounds, 900 pounds. Any further advances on 900 pounds. It's going once, it's going twice. I've said this now about six times tonight on this one lot. 950. Wow. We're looking at a thousand pounds now. A thousand pounds. Do we see a thousand pounds? 950 pounds is with me online. 950 pounds. It's in the control room there. We're looking through the glass here. Look, 950 pounds. Oh, it's going once. You, yes. I've got to know, this has been beautifully framed already by the lovelies in, 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 it has, in Margate. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> by the lovelies in Margate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 950 pounds. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I, this really does mean a lot. It's a real honour for me to be here in front of these guys who put this whole thing together. But it wouldn't be possible without you bidding, pushing those buttons and bidding and gifting money for the National yeah. Health Service. So thank you so much. Right. And we've got a portrait of Debbie Harry on another oh, Remo drumhead. One of your drumheads. Well, drum rough signed, coats. Rough coat. Oh, you've signed it signed, as well. I've signed it. Okay. And the last one was signed by me. And it's well. gorgeous. I mean, Debbie Brilliant. Harry. Wow. Beautiful. The iconic. Face the Marilyn yeah. Monroe of rock and roll, and it's been this donated by Sarah Sutton. Sarah we've got it. We've got to mention Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah is beautiful. I mean, she is an amazing painter. Um, um, honestly, when we have an amazing you, gift from oh, the Drummerton family, yeah, with all yeah. the drummers who are extraordinary. She is extraordinary. And um, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! You've just seen it, haven't you? Yes. It, look, we had an auction it. guideline of one fifty to two hundred, and we're straight in now at two twenty. Two hundred and twenty pounds oh, straight that's in that's first bid, great. maiden bid, two twenty. Any further advances on two twenty? We're looking at two thirty. Two thirty anywhere? Two thirty? I've got two hundred and twenty pounds. It's a maiden bid. It's straight in, and I'm selling. Make no mistake. It's going once. It's going twice. Two hundred and thirty pounds. We got one more bid. We got one more yes. bid. Yes. Two hundred. Oh, yes. <laughs> two hundred and forty. Oh yes. Two hundred and forty pounds. Any further advances on two forty? Two hundred and fifty. Yep. Two hundred and fifty pounds is with me now. Two hundred and fifty pounds. We're looking for two sixty. We're looking at two sixty. We got two sixty. We got two seventy. We're on at two eighty now. Two hundred and eighty pounds. Two hundred and eighty pounds with me in the room, or should I say, in the control room? Yeah. Two hundred and eighty pounds with the techos out there. Yeah. It all went horribly wrong, but we got you back, and we're now on two hundred and eighty pounds. Two hundred and eighty pounds going once. Going twice, 300, straight in, yes. 300 pounds. Oh, yes. You love that, don't you? 300 pounds. We're now, we're looking at 350 pounds. We've got an internet bid of 350 pounds. 350 pounds. Wow. Again, this is beautiful. This is beautifully framed as well, honestly. It's great, isn't it? Caroline 350 yeah. pounds. We have a great bid here. It's 350 pounds. I don't think we can push it anymore. It's going once. It's going twice. Fair warning, 350 pounds. Sold. <laughs> Okay, another friend of yours, I love this, is Charlie's work. Oh, oh. Charlie. Charlie Makesy. Charlie Makesy. Oh. I mean, it's all pen and ink. He's brilliant. And his book, The Boy, the Mole, the Fish and the Swimmer. No, it's The Boy, the Mole, <laughs> the Horse and the... Fox. fox. It's fox. the fox. Yeah. It's the fox. But look, Sorry. Charlie's work, if you're not it's familiar funny. with it, it's all nibbed pen and ink. And you get one chance at this. He sits down, he dips the nib pen in the ink pot, and it's very much like Japanese and Chinese calligraphy. And, and his works are just beautiful, and it's fluid. It's got motion, it's got vitality. But his little characters, the little boy with the yeah. fox, it's wonderful, it's isn't it? Is it? And the sentiment is... Oh. When I grow up, 
when I grow up, what do I want to be? Do you know what? Well, what did I say when I was a kid? What did you say? I want to be a drummer. I want to be a drummer. I want to be a drummer, exactly. Dad. <laughs> no, you get a proper job. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's this worth? Well, I'll tell you what, his work flies. He's a fantastic He's illustrator. Fantastic. He's a top seller. So we're looking at straight in now, right? Okay, I was hoping for around about four to five hundred pounds, but we're straight in online at eight hundred pounds. Whoa! <laughs> Eight hundred pounds. I have a maiden bid straight in of eight hundred pounds. This is just fantastic. Now we're up to nine hundred pounds. Nine hundred pounds. Can we make this one thousand pounds? Can I put the gavel down, the hammer, the stick at one thousand pounds? We've got nine hundred pounds. The current bid of nine hundred pounds, which is more than what we'd expected. Every penny is going towards the National Health Service. We've got it now. We've got a thousand pounds. Thank you so much. It's going once. It's going twice. Fair warning. £1,000. Last chance. Can you make it any more? I'm selling at £1,000. It's going once, twice. <laughs> Great investment. Brilliant. Great investment. Brilliant. Okay, Timmy Mallet. Oh, Timmy oh. had a gavel, didn't he? He had the I biggest gavel on yeah. the planet. Yeah. I would like to use one of those on the rostrum. It's a double hander. Yeah. You've been hit yeah. by it. Oh, yes, yes. I, I was in the show. Yeah, I was in the show. Were you? Yeah, we did. I did He's a lovely maybe, guy. We did maybe three He's shows fabulous. as Imagination back in the day. And here's the thing. And they had a pie contest, didn't they? And then my kids just kept throwing pies at me, even when they say stop. <laughs> Which They're just going to get dad. <laughs> get dad. That's what dads are for. <laughs> That's what, he's a lovely guy, oh, Timmy Mallet. He's a lovely guy. He did a radio show, a talk, a, a talk back radio show um, uh, in London with Vanessa Phelps, and he couldn't make it one day. It was a Sunday morning show, and I stood in for him. Oh. Or should I say sat in for him? <laughs> so that's lovely. No, right, anyway, look, he's a brilliant artist. He's a great artist in his own right, and his works do sell yes, really, yes. really well, OK? So he's, he's done another drum head, your drum head, yes. and I'm pleased to say you use the powder-coated Remo drum heads. Which are the best? Which are the you best? Know. Aren't they? You're going to play. Well, it's quality for a great man. Uh, yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Do you know what? They are great drum heads, aren't they? they? Are. They're the yeah. best. Yeah. Rima, the best. Oh, should I say that? I can say that, can't I? <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> right, what are we looking for? 150 to 250. That's our auction guideline. What do we got currently coming up? Our current bid for Timmy Mallet's artwork showing here, over there on our screen. You can see it on your screens as well. Come on, we need a bid. We need a bid. We've got it now. We've got £100, which is a brilliant maiden bid of £100. Can we make it 110 110 surely. Yes, an internet bid straight in now at £110. And those buttons are being pushed because we've got 110 120 120 yes. surely. It's worth a little bit more. Timmy says he's got a reserve of 150 but I know Bev can get on the phone and yeah. sort him out. Yeah. We've got a bid now of £120, £130. It's with me now at £130, £130. I'm selling at £130. It's as simple as that. It's a one-off. You'll never get this again. Of course you won't. Of course you won't. £130 is good. He'll be happy. It's very good. I've just heard. Oh, you've just talked to him, have you? Well done. Timmy, thank you so much, mate. It's going once, it's going twice. Sold. Okay, lot number 34A. It's an 80s heat of the night drumhead reunion. Mel Gaynor creates a unique slice of rock and roll history. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. It's the one place that Errol and Lee John make, can meet again. You know, yeah, it's, it's on the, the drumhead. Absolutely. They're a bit like bros. They know. are, aren't they? <laughs> uh, and the Gallaghers. They love each other, oh, really. But goodness. it's just time has <laughs> changed yeah. into a different space, you know. And well, Ray and Day Davis, they're yeah, always falling out with each I other. Know. Uh, well, look, that's that's creative minds for but you. It's perfect. But, but you know, there's always love in the heart. You there's know always love saying? in the that's heart. That's where we're coming from. Yeah. Exactly. But what a great, I mean, and Bev's obviously techno twins have signed it as I well. I can't believe it. I was invited to sign it. I yeah. felt very humble to be so here. So it's a very well. I'm very, very humble to be here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can get top dollar, shall we? Now, what is the current bid? We're looking at around 150 for this. Come on, come on, dig deep, everybody. 150. We're looking for. We got a bit of a hundred. We got a bit of a hundred. A maiden bid of one hundred pounds straight in. One hundred pounds. Do I see one hundred and ten pounds anywhere? We're looking at one hundred and ten. Come on, the yellow light is now flashing, which means somebody's hovering. Somebody yeah. is thinking oh, about gosh. it. Come on, one hundred and ten pounds. We're still stuck on one hundred pounds. Come on, come on. The guys are here in the room. Don't get them embarrassed. One hundred pounds. Can we sell it at one hundred pounds? Can we sell it at one hundred pounds? 
we can, can't we? This lot can go at £100. You don't mind that. No. Mel is not going to mind. No. no. OK. Someone's got a good deal there. Look, £100. Going once, going twice. Fair warning. Yay. Right, Brian May of Queen has signed this wonderful Queen mug, OK? So that's quite, that's kind of kind of nice, really. Brian May's a fantastic guitarist. I've met him. I've interviewed him. Yeah, on Contrafile Diaries, because um, he's really passionate about um, reclaiming forests back, you know, lost ancient forests, to let, to let the animals roam wild and again, protected with no badger hunting, no deer hunting, you know, just, just let the animals and nature take care of these woods. It's as simple as that. Yeah. And hopefully, and hopefully we can learn to embrace that as human beings and leave them alone. Yeah. And not poach and not badger hunt. Right. So... What do we got here? Brian May's mug. He signed it. It's worth 100 to 200 pounds. We've got an internet bid straight in at 140 pounds, a maiden bid of 140 pounds. That's a brilliant maiden bid. Any further advances on 140, 150 now. 150 is with me. We're looking at 160, 160 anywhere. 150 pounds going once. Going twice, yes, we got 160 now. It does help when I say going once because it goes, oh, 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 he's, he's going he's gonna to flog it. He's going to flog it That's because that's what he does. He flogs it. £190. Can you see that? £190 there or £190. Going once. Going twice. 200 It does work. £200 is with me now. £200 is already now straight in, back up to £240. £240. And we got an internet bid of £240. It's now quickly jumped to £300. £300 is now online in the control room over there. £300. It's fantastic, isn't it? Brian May is such a wonderful man. You know, every penny that we raise now is going to the National Health Service. But I have to say, Brian has stuck millions of his own money into ancient woodlands, you know? He's bought them up and he's protecting them. Wow. So fair play to him. 350 pounds, wow. 350 pounds. The man's a legend. Yeah. And I'm selling at 350, it's going once. It's going, we've got 380 now. <laughs> it's going twice. Do I see 400? 300 pounds, 380 pounds, I should say. 380 pounds, it's going once. It's going twice, sold. 400 pounds. £400, right on the hammer, right on the hammer, £400. I've got to retract that. Look, there's another bit of 420 I'm just going backwards slightly. That wasn't sold. I was just teasing. 420 now. £420. Any further advances on 420 We'll let the underbidder have a moment to think about that because I jumped the gun. I crashed the symbol at 400. We had a bid of 400 pounds straight after it. 420 pounds is with me. It's online and I'm selling at 420 pounds. It's going once, it's going twice, sold. Hey! Fantastic. Brilliant. Brilliant. 450. 450. There's this delayed reaction between yes. us, the control room, and you online. 450 pounds. 450 pounds for Brian May's signed mug. It's with me now at £450, dare I say, going once, going twice. Fair warning, fair warning, I'm selling. I'm selling at £480. £480 is now with me, £480. Can you make that £500? £480 is going once, it's going twice. We've got it, £500. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Fantastic. I don't care how long this takes Honestly, because we're just raising so much money. We got five hundred pounds bid online for Brian May's signed mug. Come on, can we make that five hundred and twenty? Can we do that? It's fantastic. It's a fantastic night. Five hundred pounds is with me online. I think we're stuck at five hundred, which is a fantastic price. We're so happy. We're over the moon. Five hundred pounds, every penny towards the National Health Service is going once. It's going twice. Fair warning. Sold. Yay! Sold. Fantastic. Got it out oh, at the end. That was incredible. Right. That was okay. Lot number 36. You're going to tell me about this? Dirk Larson? 
Oh, Dirk. Oh. Now, Dirk, he he's a great artist. He's fabulous. It's the Doors Project. He yeah, it's called the Doors Project, and he was he was back in the day at the Royal College of Art, and he was on tour with a thing called Reindeer Works. Part of the thing was Marina Abramovich and all those kind of people who started off in Holland. Laurie yeah. Anderson, all the performance artists. He is great. Joseph Boyce, he knew yeah. Joseph Boyce. So, from an artist connoisseur point of view. He's off the radar. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, an original work of art. It is worth two to three hundred pounds, and it could be yours. Low. Yeah. And that's low. That that's a giveaway price. Yeah. It could be yours. So get pushing those buttons. Okay. We've got a fixed reserve on this. Let's see if we can work up. To, let's see if we can work up to it. So what we're going to start off with straight in. Look at two hundred pounds. We've got two hundred pounds with me now. Two twenty. Two forty. 260, the bids are coming in now. 280, currently at 280 pounds. 280 pounds is with us. That's fantastic, isn't it? That's 280 pounds. So what a great guy. The yeah. great. And, the, and the concept, as Bev said, to open the doors and close the whole, you know. Let's the you reason, in. You know, the reasons why he did that are, is because he wants people to come in, actually. He said, oh, let's you in. You see it everywhere. Yeah. He wanted to hide it. 280 pounds. And I'm selling at £280. It's going once. It's going twice. Fair warning, £280. It's under the hammer. £280. Sold. Brilliant. Brilliant. OK. <laughs> Hall Media. Oh. Whoa. Hey. This is where we are now. OK, <laughs> our donating an eight-hour recording session in this very studio where some of the top drummers in the world have really laid down the groove for the National Health Service, haven't they? Big Mel was here, you know, and look what he's done to the sticks. Yeah, exactly. You know, look what, done to the, look what he's done to the floor and <laughs> the walls. OK, OK, but you can bring, you can bring a five-piece band in here. You know, they've got all the tech kit, they've got the mics, they've got everything. You go home with a great track, yeah. you know. It's great. Maybe a little, an EP. Well, I mean... It's so well well put together, you can actually record a whole band. And then you can actually get lessons here as well. Of course you can. You can, you, you can be taught playing the piano, you can get playing guitar. Drums. Violin. Drums as well. And not only and that, they do this videos is... Videos as well. Videos they as do well. the whole thing. This is the only recording studio I know with a beehive on the roof. There's, I've, there's a beehive up there with four supers on top of it, so it's like a skyscraper for bumble for bees, not bumblebees, honeybees. <laughs> I, I'm not joking, and they're friendly. They are very, friendly very bees crazy. up there. Very so you could have a lesson in beekeeping if you, you want. Do, if you, you want. If you want, well, that's bring your bee suit. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I wrote a song actually called Share Food Like the Bees. But I won't tell you any more about that another time. <laughs> right, well, we're buzzing along here right now with lot number 37. And this is worth 500 quid, but it could be yours for £250. So we're going to start the bidding off at £100. Do I see 100 An internet bid straight in. Look, 100 120 140 160 180 Come on, the bids are flying in now. It's already jumped. Look, to 280 280 straight away. We've reached the reserve. We've got more than the reserve. We'd like a little bit more because every penny is going towards the National Health Service and making this big donation from drummers all across the UK, throughout the world, you know, laying down the groove here through lockdown. £280. £280 is now on Line with me and I can sell at £280. I've got the thumbs up from the engineer. He's very happy. Yes. It's going once. <laughs> it's going twice. Thank you so much. Sold. Okay, Steve Hackett. I used to love Yes. He was a guitarist in Yes, wasn't he? Great. Yeah. Gary played with him for years, yeah. you know, Gary O'Toole. Yeah, I, um, Bill Bruford played in Yes and so did Steve, um, Steve, Steve, not Steve White, Steve, I've got his name now, it'll come to me, Alan White. Alan, Alan White. White. And yes. you know, Alan White did the first recordings with um, with Yes and then he went off to do some work with John Lennon. He played on the Imagine album. And because that was such a big hit, Alan White didn't get a lot of work for years because they thought it was too expensive. <laughs> He was earning so much money with no John way. Lennon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Unbelievable. Right, Steve Hackett. That is the sound of yes, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it really is. Okay. His, his CD, At the Edge of Light, okay, recorded in 2019. So. And it's signed? And it's signed as well, yes. Now, that should be worth 20 quid. Hopefully, signed. We get a little bit more for it. Who's going to start me off with a bid? I've got £20 straight in. Look, £20 is with me now. £20. I'm Go looking on, for guys. 25 25 anywhere. Come on, 25, surely one more button. One more button, I can sell at 20. It's reached its reserve and I'm going to do that, 25. That, oh, oh, that, that, yes, good, an extra five pounds. 
Do I see 30 anywhere? 30 pounds? We're looking for 30 pounds. I'm asking for 30. The current bid is 25 pounds and I'm selling at 25 pounds. It's going once. It's going twice. Make no mistake. Fair warning. <laughs> Sold. Yay. Yay. Well done, Steve. Thank Brilliant. You. Thank you. Danny Rolfe. Oh, Contemporary oh, abs. This is this is on a different this is, level now. This he's cool. He's one of our contemporary greatest tempor contemporary artists. He's brilliant. And he he was around the time of the young Brits. You know the yep. Tracy Emmons and all oh, the whole. Yes, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Damien Hirst, all yeah. that stuff. Gilbert and George. And he at twenty four sold to the Metropolitan Museum of Modern Art in New York. I mean, he's like he's, he's genius. Top, top. And I'm blessed enough to have him as my mentor. He's great. Right. And it's your he's chance. Great to buy an original work. It yeah. really is. And, it's we're, and it's on my drum head as well. And it's on your Remo rough coat drum head. Exactly. And you signed quality, it as well. Quality, quality. And I signed it. And do you know what we say? Quality always sells. <laughs> <laughs> we say that on <laughs> That's what we say on Flog It. Quality always sells. OK, look, we've got a reserve on this, but it is worth thousands. So who's going to start me off with a bit of, yeah, straight in, look, a maiden bit of £650. Wow. £650. We're looking for 700 Is there £700 out there? Come on, you can do it. £700. It's worth double that. Come on, 650 is with me, a current bid of 650 pounds. I've got some discretion on this. I will sell if we get another bid, 650 pounds. Do I see 700 anywhere? 700 pounds, we're looking at seven. Please, please, please push those buttons, 700 pounds. We're looking for 700 pounds. The current bid is 650. 650 is with me. Yeah, it's, a one -off. it's a one off, it's, a one -off. it's unique, you will never get it's collectible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> £650. Do you know what? I'm going to sell it at £650. I've got discretion on that at £800. I'm going to let that go at £600. Auctioneer's discretion. We're selling. Going once. Going twice. Fair warning, £650. Wow. Well done, Danny. Brilliant. OK, lot number 40. The 27 Lost Supper Club. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. All these rock stars, in, uh, but also Basket, died at 27. And she imagined the Last Supper, and she called it the Lost Supper. And it's all the rock and roll legends meeting up on a piece of artwork. And the original piece was the size of this wall. It was Incredible. massive. And she showed it in Covent Garden and then did a print. And this is a and print. And this is a print. This is a signed, yeah. limited, edition signed print. limited edition print. It's a edition print. Bronzed. One of yeah. 27. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's in bronze. bronze. OK, who's going to start me off with a maiden bid of £100? Well, we've gone straight in. Look, we didn't need £100. We're looking at 150 That's the reserve. But we're straight in at 170 170 180 now. 180 is with me. 180 190 now. 190 £200. 200 220 220 is with me. 220 pounds. Do I see 230? We're looking at 230. 230. Come on, 240. 240 is jump one. 240 pounds. 260. 280. 300. 300 pounds. This one's climbing. This is like a proper auction now. Everybody's realizing, yes, yes, this is pretty iconic. 300 pounds. 300 pounds is with me. Make no mistake, I can sell at 300 pounds. It's going once. It's going twice. Fair warning, 300 pounds. 320. Just about to. Just, just about to. Amy Winehouse have got one of these, right? Yeah, her parents. She, her parents have got one of these her, her on the limited edition her, from the pier. Yeah. So, wow. 320. 320 is with me. We're looking at 340. Is there 340 out there? 320 pounds. Make no mistake. Fair warning. We're selling at 320 pounds. 350 pounds. Wow. 350 pounds. <laughs> Ah, oh, don't you just love it, Errol? £350. Fantastic. All of this it. is down to you, you know. You thought wow. of all of this. £350. You know I do know that. You've told me about 400 times. £350. It's going once. It's going twice. Fair warning. Oh, I've got my stick. Fair warning. <laughs> yeah, never twist your drumsticks, OK? That's what Billy Cobham said. Man, they don't make a noise in the air. Do you know, oh, some kid asked him as well. I mean, I'm talking about sensible questions. When you meet drummers, you know, please, please, please pick their brains because, you know, drummers are hard to find, aren't they? They really are. Yeah. Some and wonderful brains, actually. They do. Be and the reason is, my son's a neuroscientist and, he, and, and he's, he's one of these guys, you know, and he's got... He's a drummer. He's drummed since he was six. And he's got... Ha it's, the, it's the thing of using your feet, your hands and your head. So you're using all aspects. Four-way independent. Yeah. I can do that, Five. but I can't multitask at home. 
Yeah. <laughs> I get told off. <laughs> my, my kids have vouched me. Hey, do you know, I've been teaching my kids to play, and Meredith and Dylan, if you're watching, hi, they're at my mate's party, Jim's birthday party. Happy birthday, Jim, if you're watching. But um, I sent a big parcel of cheese along, so if I get there later, I can quaff a bit. <laughs> but my kids can play We Will Rock You, you know, and they play. They can play some grooves as well. So. You know what? I used to fight over the drums with my son. Right, and he grew up on the drums, and then um, and I sent him to university and um, to to learn all about making clothes and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And he, when he finished, he said, "Dad, I want to play. I just want to go to the music." But then he went and picked up the bass, and, and then he he's singing, and he's a great front. And he's a brilliant now. front man. That's the thing about drums, right? It's it just allows it you to be cre creative. Yeah. I mean, look at you. I mean, you're oh, look at me. You're playing <laughs> drums. Do you know what I mean? And you play drums as well. You're great auction. Oh well, I'll tell you That's what. Talking all, about drums, drums, we've got. We've got more. We've got our star lot tonight. Well, I mean, you are our star lot. You two, really. You're our star lot. But oh, this is amazing. Lot number 41. OK? This is, this is beyond extraordinary. Nick Hodgson has kindly donated the drum kit that he recorded Ruby on. OK, so I'm 200 miles away from the drum kit that we're talking about. But Peanut is sat at the drum kit right now. He's been looking after it for me. And he's also set it up and he's taken some photographs and a little video. And he's going to tell you a little bit more about it after this. It is the... First custom built drum kit I ever had. It's made by Brady, an Australian company that doesn't exist anymore, um, which only adds to the value. If you look up Brady drum kits, you'll see that they are amongst the best in the world. This kit was played by me on Ruby and the Angry Mob and all of that second album, Yours Truly, Angry Mob by the Kaiser Chiefs. And it really is a remarkable drum kit. I played it at Glastonbury and countless festivals countless tours uh it really is a beautiful kit you'll see from the photographs there's three in the world i had three custom built but this was the first uh the second one lived in america and that was sold i sold that in 2012 to david letterman so it's in good company there the third and final one is up in leeds at peanuts studio called the nave studio and then there's this one the original one which has a little plaque that says my name on it, handbuilt in Australia by Brady Drums in 2006. And this is the one that's for sale. And it's uh, I'm hoping it's going to raise a lot, a lot of money for the NHS charities. So tell your friends, if you know any drum drum fans who are also Kaiser Chiefs fans who love the song Ruby and are millionaires, tell them all about it. Ruby, 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 Ruby! I mean, whoa. Don't you just want to sing along in the car to that when that comes on? Oh, you do. What a great what a energy! What a drummer! What a kit as well. Yeah. So, what, and I mean the drum. The drums were made by Brady, who are yeah. these Australian, Australian families, yeah. isn't yeah. it? You know, yeah. Who they're are up just, there. They're up there with every rock, rock drummer wants them, and they and don't the shells, make them anymore. And all the shells are beautifully tuned. And the, well. the, the, the bearing edges Beaut are superb. Beautiful. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. This is a one-off. It You'll is. You'll never ever get this. Again. And you know there were only ever three three made for him. And yeah. The only other kit David Letterman has. Yeah, he's so, got one. So, you know, he's, he's got, got one. one but yeah. this is the classic, iconic kit because it's Ruby yeah. Ruby. So Nick's yeah. going to keep, and, keep uh, one. I mean, uh, and this one's up for grabs. Yeah. What's I mean, it worth? I don't know if anyone's going to be able to afford it because it's so we got a We've got a big reserve brilliant. on this, haven't yeah. we? We've got a big reserve. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's a big it's, reserve. It's, it's but it is iconic. Yeah, it is. It's iconic. It's rock and roll memorabilia. It's something for the future. Who's going to start me off with a bid? What have we got here coming in online now? We're looking for around... Four to five grand to kick us off. Come on, surely it's worth that. There's got to be someone out there. There's got to be someone out there that's willing to own this wonderful piece of iconic rock and roll memorabilia. We've got £4,500 straight in. £4,500. £4,500. Can we make that one more? Can we make that four, six? Four, six? Four, six anywhere? Come on, please, push those buttons. Four, six. We have an internet bid now of £4,600. Thank you so much. Could I push you for one more, whoever that is? Four th it says a firm, firm reserve of £5,000. But come on, that is so close, isn't it? That is so close. £4,600. That's, that's a fantastic bum push. 
And look at all the music that's been recorded on that, the albums that have been recorded with, the, with this uh, drum kit. Well, you look, know? hopefully if someone does buy this, maybe we can, you know, give Nick the phone number, they can meet up, yeah. you know, and yeah, spend the day, yeah. spend the day together, yeah. chill out, yeah. have some yeah. lessons, Absolutely. maybe get some, you know, tickets to the gig, go backstage... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a couple of free tickets. Absolutely. Maybe maybe bring the family along. Yeah. If you're if you're a young drummer, you've got to take mum and dad. Yeah, yeah. you know, a family ticket amazing. to see the band. Yeah. That would be really cool, it wouldn't is, it? Yeah. Four thousand six hundred pounds. Four thousand eight hundred pounds. Four thousand eight hundred pounds with me online right now. This is fantastic. Four thousand eight hundred pounds. Nick says Nick says he's happy with the. Bless Nick you, Nick. He's happy. He's happy with that bid. He loves it. He's very happy. Pass the guy over. We are beyond thrilled by you. We can't tell you. Thanks very much, Nick. We got £4,800 bid online. Can we take that? You're a star. Thank you so much. And, and whoever buys this um, will give you their phone number. You can have a chat to them when you're back out on the road. Hopefully you can invite them to a gig. If it's a young drummer and he needs his mum and dad to come along, you can show them around backstage, get a family ticket for them. Sure can make something you can make things happen, man. You can do it. Thank you. Thank you. Legendary. We can't wait Absolutely to meet up brilliant. with you and say the biggest thank you ever. Thank You've you. been legendary. 4,000. You are amazing. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Absolute legend. <laughs> well done, guys. Well done, Nick. £4,800 going once, going twice. Whoever that was, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's a big, big bid. That's what tonight is all about. It really is. It really is. I'm overwhelmed by that. I'm speechless. Me too. Well, look, I wish you all the success and all the luck with that drum kit. And I'm jealous. <laughs> okay, right, now... We've got a few lots left tonight. We've got our Celebrity Drum NHS, OK? Oh. It's these wonderful snare drums. We've got the Celebrity one and we have the Drumathon Drummers one. Yeah. OK, so one lot will follow the other. They're both valued exactly the same, 500 to a £1,000 each. Lot number 42 is the Bespoke Celebrity Drum one. And um, you can tell me all about this because your mate Mel has done all this. Yeah, I mean, I mean she's, she's extraordinary. As, I, as we said at the beginning, you yeah. started it off when you said about that famous drummer we won't mention who's yeah. six sold for 15 quid, and we thought... <laughs> Yeah. And, <laughs> and Meg said, don't worry, I've got this great idea. And it is stunning, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, all the sticks she cuts down and she yeah. actually it's makes... It's the butt end, the butt yeah. end of the shaft. And there. every drummer signs... Around the snap. Yeah. We've which... got a clip of it. You too. You, yeah, Larry's a great drummer. Brilliant drummer. Absolutely and brilliant, great drummer. Larry Mullins, Larry Mullins Jr. Larry Mullins Jr. And we've got Will Champion from Coldplay. We've got obviously Mal Gaynor. Mal God. And, and, Radiohead. Hey, do, do you Scott know? Do you know Iron Maiden. Talking about Coldplay. Queen. I mean, another great drummer. I mean, he's I mean, just amazing. I fix you that. When he comes in. Do you know, oh. it was 20 years ago this weekend, Coldplay had their first number one with Parachute. Oh, wow. 20 years, 20 years ago. Where's that time gone? Wow. Just like that. Just like that. Just, just, like, just like, like that. tonight is going just and like that. Skunk and Nancy have sent Skunk some in. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, Mark Richardson. Mark Richardson. Wow. Yeah. Okay, and what's it worth? 500 to £1,000. All pounds. these drummers Clem Burke signing is on them. There Clem Burke well. Blondie. Clem Burke Blondie. I mean... You know, right. Unbelievable. Okay. We keep wow. asking Ringo, but he's busy with his 80th birthday party celebration. Yeah, he's so, busy, yeah. isn't he? Ringo's you know, busy. Wow. We have asked him. Roger Taylor? <laughs> yeah. Roger. He's, yeah, in. he's in. And, uh, you know, we're the still endless, talking to Charlie Watts. We're out there. Yeah. You know, cause we just Love Charlie. Wouldn't it be yeah. great? Charlie is a again. gentleman. Yeah. yeah. He's such Absolutely. a gentleman. I know when he hears. Paul Stewart's on there he's as well. He's got class. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, Kasabian, Ian Matthews. Kasabian. Yeah. Oh, 
Look, it's all here. Yeah. Okay, and it's up for grabs. Who's going to start me off? We're looking for £500. That's the reserve. Straight in now. Look, it's a one-off. £750. Straight in online. Yes. £750. Thank you so much. £750. Any further advances on £750? We're looking at £800 right now. £800 and we've got it. £800. Thank you. £800. £800 is with me. £850 now. £850 is the current bid. Can we push it to £1,000? We're looking for £1,000 right now. One more bid takes it to £1,000. It's going once. It's going twice. Fair warning. £950. And I'm selling at £950. Fantastic. Okay, it's your chance if you missed out on that one to grab this one. Okay, some of the world's most famous drummers have signed this one. Yeah. Well, the brilliant thing about this is this, this is the drummathon. Yeah, one. This is so every these are the guys. Stick has played in the session. They are so this is... that played the 12 hour sessions for drum yeah. All the blood, sweat, and tears. I was just about to say that. Oh, the blood, Sorry. sweat, and tears. They were yeah. a great band. Absolutely. Yeah. They were a great band. Mm. But this, I mean, yeah. this, this, this drum is incredible because it's a one-off. Can you imagine, you can say, I own this snare drum with the 20 drummers that did 12 hour, uh, 250 hours yeah. drumming, donated their sticks, right? It's, again, a one-off, it's a lettering. And you've got to remember, this is built through the lockdown. It's unique. It never happened again, absolutely yeah. unique. Yeah, so whoever gets this, you wouldn't want to play it, would you? You want to put no. it up on the wall, you want yeah. to frame it. No, it's a piece of sculpture. Yeah. It's literally That's a piece, a piece of, of sculpture. Of yeah. You will play it now and then, but obviously yeah. it's a piece of sculpture. <laughs> yeah. you, you know, yeah. you, you, you show it off to your mates, yeah. but, but it's there, you know. Yeah. Well, you've got all these legend signatures yeah. on there, you know. It's great. Showing how amazing the whole right, thing okay. is. Right, okay. Again, this one, 500 to 1,000 pounds. We've got a reserve of 500 pounds. Who's going to start me off the 500? And we're straight in at 480, just shy of the 500 pounds. 480 pounds oh is bid. Come on, come on, you can do it. 480 pounds is with me. There's a bid coming in now. Look, someone's thinking about it. They're hovering the yellow button. You can see it. It's gone pink. 500 pounds. We have a current bid of 500 pounds. It's reached its reserve. We've, we've got 550 now. 550 pounds is with me online. 600, 600 pounds. Fair warning, I'm selling at £600. Any further advances on £600? We, we would love We're 650 We're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. You're in at 650 yeah. Thank you so much. That's a good bid. £650 is against you because it's in the room here and I'm selling in the room. I never thought I would say tonight at an internet auction, I'm selling in the room. But I am. £650. I'm selling in the room. £650 is going once. I've got an internet bid of £700. Oh. <laughs> It's against you, sir. It's against you, madam, as well. Oh it's online at £700. £700, it's now just jumped to £800. We're out. We're oh, out. wow. Whoa, whoa. You're... No, 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 £800, it's oh. against you. 800 oh. 820 820 £820. £820 in the room, a bid in the room, with the man, with the dude here. £820, it's now gone to £850. Oh. £850. Oh. Wow. Shall I sell it? Shall I sell it? £850. Fair warning, it's going once, yeah? It's going twice. Sold. Hey, but look, well done. Whoever bought that, well done. Thank you so much. Every penny counts. I mean, what your number? But everybody loves an underbidder. Without the underbidders, we wouldn't get these high prices. So thank you, Bev. Thank you, Errol. We would have gone there. Right, we're coming to the end of this wonderful auction. Aren't we? In fact, I think we have. I think that's it. Yeah. That is it. That is our last lot. And I have to say a big thank you to everybody here in the studio. A big thank you to Bev and Errol. Um, it's been a joy to host this auction. It's been a real privilege. And I think we have raised a hell of a lot of money tonight. I haven't yes. been keeping counts. I'm sure someone in there has. Yeah. But um, any idea what we've raised so far, guys? Around 10 grand, 12 grand, around 12,000 pounds, which isn't bad, is it? On top of the 30,000 pounds that the so Drummathon raised. So you're talking like 40 odd thousand. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. That is a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that everybody, the whole team, the I'm team, talking actually, everybody. Us, we really want to thank everybody. I've got to put, I've got to put this up. I've got to put this up. It's a t shirt with everybody that's been involved in this whole Look at that. 
I'm going to yeah. wear that. And on the back you know? are all the names. All the names. And there you are. And you can, get your you can buy this online, online and every penny yeah. will go towards go. the National Health Service as well. Yeah. Exactly. You get it online, OK? There you are, the Drumathon T-shirt. It's been fantastic hosting this. I hope you've enjoyed it. A big thank you to the drummers throughout the nation that have, you know, given their toil, their blood, sweat and tears, laying down the groove for us to build this on. I'm proud of you all, so, and I'm proud of you. Oh, I really am. You. I'll give you a big hug if I could get near you. And Dawson's auction. Dawson's auction rooms have been brilliant. Salroom.com. Finn David. Yeah, Finn David has been uh, absolutely amazing. And also uh, Mel and Maddis has been absolutely yeah. Yeah. incredible. Yeah, all the, the artists team, involved. All the artists oh. involved. Yeah. Every all and our bidders. And Don't our forget bidders. our bidders. Thank without you. the bidders, without the bidders this yes. wouldn't be possible without you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, um, you know, I know you're all artists. I know you're all creative. You're young drummers. You want to learn. You're going to learn from guys like this, you know, and it's just a matter of time before you can get out on the road, get gigging again. I think it'll happen around October. Fingers crossed. Please, God. Please God. Yeah. Ta-da from us. Good night. Thank you, God.